I'm Dr. Leanne Brady, and in this Panky Institute video, we're going to talk about making a Lucia jig, or what we call a Panky Bite Stop. Why would we want to make a Bite Stop? Well, there's actually a lot of reasons. I make them really often in my clinical practice as I'm doing a muscle and joint exam. If I found positive muscles, I may make the patient a Panky Bite Stop, let them sit on it for 10 or 15 minutes, and come back in and repalpate muscles. This allows me to do two things, confirm whether or not there's a connection between the teeth, the occlusion, the patient being able to touch their back teeth together, and what I found in muscle signs, and it lets the patient make the exact same connection. So we palpate the muscles and get a reading from zero to 10, we make the bite stop, we wait 15 minutes, we palpate again, and if the numbers are lower, we're actually releasing or relaxing the muscles just by having the posterior teeth separated. I often also make a Lucia jig or a panky bite stop in my practice as a way to relax the muscles before taking centric relation bite records. So that's a second reason that we'll do these. The third reason for me is often for a patient who comes in and they may have acute pain, so they yawned, opened too wide, they had an accident, and they're experiencing what we think is joint or muscle pain. And we're curious about whether or not if we make them a temporary anterior-only bite appliance, which we'll show in another video, it will actually help their symptoms. And I can test that really quickly in my office in 15 minutes with a panky bite stop. The procedure is really easy and just takes a couple of minutes. So we're actually gonna use our panky bite stops. And so you actually buy these from Mark Collis at the panky store. And now all we're gonna do is we're gonna reline it. So we're actually gonna reline this with a material um, that's called Futardi from Kettenbach. And so it's just a bite registration silicone. And so we actually like this material because it's a very rigid bite silicone. So it keeps the bite stop from moving back and forth or tipping. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load the panky bite stop and I'm simply gonna ask Dylan to open. And I'm actually gonna hold it on the labial and ask Dylan to bite his teeth together for me. I'm holding it on the labial to make sure that the platform stays parallel to the horizon in an anterior posterior relationship. And so that as Dylan bites into it, it doesn't actually tip up on the lingual and create an incline. And we're actually just gonna hold this. The material takes about 45 seconds to set, so you can get faster setting bite registration if you like, or some of them actually set as slow as 60 seconds. And I'm just gonna keep applying pressure here on the labial until the futar starts to set. Once it sets, the procedure is nearly complete, and we're literally just gonna take the panky bite stop off of Dylan's central incisors, and I'm gonna simply use a barred Parker blade and I'm gonna trim away the excess. Why do I wanna trim away the excess? So that as I leave Dylan sit for 15 minutes, if he's moving his jaw around and he's going right and left or forward and back, his bottom teeth aren't dragging on the excess silicone material. When I leave the room and I'm gonna sit Dylan up and tell him we're gonna leave him sit for about 15 minutes, I'm actually gonna give him some patient instructions. And those instructions are that he doesn't have to keep his teeth against the bite stop. He can actually separate if he wants to. And he can hold his teeth against it if that feels more comfortable. I'm also going to let him know that if he experiences any pain or discomfort in front of his ears, in the muscles of his face, to just reach up with his thumb and his forefinger and actually pull the bite stop off of his teeth and just let me know that that's what happened when I come back into the room. All right, so now our material is set. Go ahead and open for me. And I'm just gonna pop this off of his teeth. And using a barred Parker, we're just gonna trim away the excess material that's actually gone out past the bite stop. Now we have our device. It simply fits back over Dylan's two front teeth. And now we would simply set a timer for 15 minutes and allow his muscles to relax so that we could either take our centric relation bite records, we could assess whether there's an improvement in his muscle discomfort on palpation, or to see if an anterior only device like this that's designed to sleep in would actually help alleviate acute symptoms. I do not ever send a patient home on a panky bite stop simply because the size of it is small enough that the patient could aspirate it when they're sleeping. So if you do wanna do a device that they leave the office with, we're gonna show you in a separate video how to make a quick splint.